So coming to the initial steps which we discussed already in the algorithm review, for most vigorous term and preterm babies, clamping the umbilical cord should be delayed for at least 30 to 60 seconds. All the newborns require a rapid evaluation. So whether the, term, whether the baby is term or preterm, whether the muscle tone is normal and whether the baby is breathing or crying. If the answer is no to any of these, the newborn should be brought to the radiant warmer for the initial steps of newborn care. The five initial steps are to warm, dry, stimulate, position. Head and neck uh, should be kept in the sniffing position or neutral position to open the airway and we have to clear the secretions if needed. Use the pulse oximetry to guide the oxygenation. So when the resuscitation is anticipated, to confirm if the baby has cyanosis, if you feel there is cyanosis, if you need supplemental oxygen, it's better to monitor oxygen and if PPV is required. So pulse oximeter is needed in short in any baby who needs additional support, not someone who transitions quickly to uh, skin to skin care with the mother. If meconium stain fluid is present and the baby is not vigorous, bring the baby to the radiant warmer to perform the initial steps. Routine laryngoscopy uh, with or without intubation or for tracheal suction is not suggested. So meconium uh, stain liker, you do the meconium uh, aspiration only if Mr. Sopa uh, steps for suction is there and the baby's chest is not moving despite IPPV. So uh, here it is to show the steps we already discussed that so the sequence is much clearer now you warm receive the baby in the warmer in a dry towel dry and stimulate which happens together position the airway and suction if needed and uh, the correct sniffing position should not be over extension in a newborn baby so the forehead facing the roof is adequate and in the baby's uh, shoulder roll placed in the right position under the shoulder helps to keep the because the occiput is large it helps to maintain the neutral position so because we use a sniffing position to an overextended head in older kids we can use the term neutral position if that is confusing in terms of clearing the secretion remember to clear the mouth first before you uh, clear the nose because the mouth has lots more secretions and putting the bulb sucker in the nose will trigger the gasping response in the baby may aspirate. Again, only if uh, secretions are visible, so there is no role for elective suction. Uh, we discussed the situations where pulse oximetry is needed. So when resuscitation is anticipated to confirm perception of central cyanosis, when supplemental oxygen is administered or when PPV is required. So it's better to use the right upper limb you can uh, keep the pulse oximeter off uh, or you can keep it on, on uh, with the standby but the probe is not connected to the main machine. Uh, once the baby has the probe on the skin then you can connect uh, the probe to the machine which is switched on already and that is shown to pick up the sensor quicker. Usually it takes around one minute after you make the decision to get the reading. So the earlier you decide the better. And this is the chart which we discussed earlier for the transition of oxygen. Don't uh, rush it. I mean, obviously, 100% uh, oxygen is needed if you need chest compression. But in all other situations, you start with uh, gradual steps of increment and you can see the response and decide. If a baby needs positive pressure ventilation, the ventilation itself will open the lungs. Oxygen is needed if there is lung disease like premature babies with RTS.